to Preschool Storytime. I'm Miss Bethany, a librarian, a children's librarian, I'm sorry, at the um, Fort Mill Public Library in York County, South Carolina. I know I look like a giant flower today, and you're thinking, why is she dressed like a flower? What time of year do flowers bloom? Spring, right. So we're gonna talk about spring today, because spring starts this week, yay! All right, before we begin, we gotta do our warm-up song. So everybody stand up, get your hands ready, your body ready. We're gonna do it if you're happy and you know it. Let me see your clappy little hands. Good job, let's go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. What do we do next? Do we stomp something? You're right, we stomp our tootsies. Let me see you stomp your tootsies. We'll just get that later. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, good job. What do we do next? We shout something special? Right, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray, woohoo! Now we gotta do all three, let me see. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray, woohoo! <sighs> Sorry, let's go. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stomp, stomp, hooray, good job. Oh, wait, one more time. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, stomp, stomp, hooray, woohoo. On your bottom, sit down, woohoo. All right, first a story is, I'm sorry, Bear wants more. Bear, do you guys know this, the American Sign Language for more? Put your fingers like this and tap them together. More! So every time Bear wants more, you can go, Bear wants more! Okay, ready? He says that a lot in the book. Um, and it is by Karma Wilson, one of my favorite authors, um, illustrated by Jane Chapman. And thank you, Simon and Schuster, for giving me permission to read this lovely story. All right, when springtime comes, in his warm winter den, a bear <gasps> wakes up very hungry and thin. He hasn't eaten all winter, he's very hungry. He waddles outside and roots all around. He digs and he paws fresh shoots from the ground. He nibbles on his lawn <gasps> till the last blade is gone. But the bear wants what? Let me see your hands. More. Right. Look, here comes his little friend. Mouse scampers by with his acorn pail. Come along, mouse squeaks, to Strawberry Vale. Yay! So up mouse hops onto bear's big back. They tromp through the woods for a fresh fruit snack. What do you think is in Strawberry Vale? Strawberries, of course. The berries grow sweet and they eat, eat, eat. But Bear wants what? Miss your hands. More. Ah, uh, the noon sun glows when along hops rabbit or hare. Good day, friend mouse. How do you, how do, you do friend bear? Oh, I'm hungry! Roars Bear. Bear says, hey, follow me! There's a fresh flower patch ahead! By the cork tree! Yay! <gasps> so they nibble on their lunch with the crunch, crunch, crunch. 
But the bear wants, let me see your hands, more. You know, he always wants more. All right, this is a hard one. This is a badger. He shuffles by with his new fishing pole. There's a fine fish feast at the old fishing hole. They head to the pond and they sit by the shore. Bear catches fish, but he still wants, let me see your hands, right, more. Oh, all the other animals are full, but Bear is hungry. Mm. Meanwhile, back at the big bear's den, wait gopher, mole, raven, and wren. They bake honey cakes, they decorate the lair. It's a springtime pate for their good friend Bear. Bear rubs his tummy. He smells something what? Yummy. And he still wants, let me see your hands, more. Bear sniffs and snuffles as the sweet breeze flows. He romps to his house. He follows his nose. Let me see your nose. His friends yell, surprise! when he gets to his den. But Bear is so big. Guess what? He can't fit in his den. Look at his little butt sticking out. Bear whales, what luck. I am stuck, stuck, stuck in front of my own door. Mouse squeaks. Hair tugs, Raven pushes with all their might. Badger gets a stick and he pries so hard. The bear pops out and he lands in his own yard. Since bear is so wide, they party outside. And guess what? He still wants me to see your hands. More. Bear opens presents. He gobbles honey cakes. He eats so much that his tummy aches. And he snuggles in the grass and he <laughs> snores big snores. He is full, full, full. But guess what? His friends want more. Right. Isn't that a sweet story? I love it. It's a very spring story. All right, about food, because who doesn't love food? All right, let me see if my kite will stick up this time. Stay, Mr. Kite, stay. All right, so first we're gonna do a little song, rhyme, about a little daisy. The daisy's one of my favorite flowers in the hair. Okay, ready? We're gonna be a little daisy, so go like this. I am a little daisy, tall and slim. Stand up high, stand up high. Here are my petals. Place your hands on your head and wiggle them. When the, oh, here is my stem. So stand up straight like this with your arms by your side. When the sun comes up, let me see their sun come up, make your arms up big wide. And the rain comes down, let me see the rain come down. Okay, we're gonna go all the way down, all the way down to the ground. Okay, now we're gonna slowly grow. I grow, grow. Grow, grow up from the ground. Yay, let's try that again, okay? Let's do your little fingers. I'm a little daisy, tall and thin. Here are my petals, Miss your petals on the side of your heads. And here's my stem, my big, big tall stem. When the sun comes up, make the sun come up. And the rain comes down, get all the way down to the ground. All right, let's go. I'm gonna start to grow. I grow, 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 grow up from the ground. Oh, good daisies. All right, have a seat back on your bulletins. What are these lovely things on the bullet on the flannel board? Kites! When do we fly kites? In the spring when it's windy. Let's count how many kites there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? We're going to do our little, a little story about these ten little kites flying in a line. One flew away. Whoosh. How many are left? Nine. And then there are nine. Nine little kites flying so straight. 
flying up to sky, right? One flew away. Whoosh. And now there are how many? Seven. All right, seven little kites flying straight as sticks. Can you show me straight arms? One came down. And now there are how many? Six. Yeah. So make sure I'm like, to this. Six little kites trying to dive. One dive too far. Uh oh. How many are left? And there were five. Five little kites soar and soar. Can you show me soaring? One sword too high, uh oh. And now there are how many? Four. Four little kites flying over trees. But what happens to one of it? It gets stuck in a tree. Feel like it's stuck right there. Now there are how many? Wondering what to do. La, 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 la. When one, one flew away, and now there are how many left? Dos, two. Two little kites flying in the sun. We're going to fly it really high. Whee! One, two got too hot. How many left? And now there is one. One little kite flying all alone. <laughs> he got lonely. So where do you think he's gonna go? He got lonely and decided to go home. So how many kites are left? None. No little kites flying through the air. When will they come back? Wait and see. when they come back, right? All right. Okay. We're going to do a little song about spring. But first we're going to fly kites. So let me see you hold your hands like you're flying a kite and kind of wave it around. Ready? Now it's time to fly our kites, fly our kites, fly our kites. Now it's time to fly our kites. Hooray for springtime! All right. Now we're going to see the birdies. So go like this like you're a birdie. Ready? See the birdies build their nest, build their nest, build their nest. See the birdies build their nest. Let me see you say hooray for springtime. Hooray for springtime. Okay, we're gonna make the rain falling down. Ready? Watch the rain falling down, falling down, falling down. Watch the rain falling down. Let me hear it. Hooray for I'll bring worms. Let me see you twist and wiggle. Ready? Watch the worms twist and wiggle, twist and wiggle, twist and wiggle. Watch the worms twist and wiggle. Let me hear you say it. Hooray for springtime! All right, ready? We're gonna go back. We're gonna go down. Ready? Yellow dandelions pop right up. They go back down. Ready? Pop right up. Pop right up. Yellow dandelions pop right up. Hooray for springtime! Okay, ready? We're gonna go like this. Here you go. Okay, that's gonna be snap, crack. Ready? Watch the lightning snap and crack, snap and crack, snap and crack. Watch the lightning snap and crack. Hooray for what? Springtime! Yay! All right. Whew. That was a workout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last book. It's one of my favorites. It's called Mouse's First Spring. That's a little mouse. It's written by Lauren Thompson and illustrated by Bouquet Erdogan. I could be wrong with this name. I'm sorry. Thank you, Simon and Schuster, for letting me read this lovely story. 
one windy whoosh. Spring day, Mouse and Mama went out to play. I know last time was Mouse and Dada. There in the grass, Mouse, some, mouse found something glittery and frit flittery. What is that that is glittery and flittery? It's a butterfly, said Mama. Then whoosh blew the wind. And the poor butterfly, what did it do? Flew away. Flop, 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 flop. Okay. Ooh, but what did they find under the leaf? It was slithery and slimy. What can it be? And Mama says it's a what? A snail. They're, they're slimy. Then what comes along? What comes along? Here you go. Whoosh blew the wind and Heidi inside the snail hid away. Remember snails have their homes on their backs. They can slip in. There on the branch, Mouse found something feathery and plump. Tweet, 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 tweet. What can it be? Asked Mouse. And Mama said, it's a birdie. A bluebird to me. But then what comes along? Whoosh blew the wind. And what happened? Flip, flap, flip, flap, flip, flap. The bird darted away. Bye bye, birdie. <laughs> Sorry, only parents are fine. There by the pond, Mouse found something green and peeping. What is that ribbit, ribbit? Right, it's a froggy. Then what happens? Whoosh blows the wind and splish splash the frog hops away. Bye bye froggy. <gasps> Ooh, what does my mouse found in the dirt? What is that pink thing? It's wiggling. What can it be? Right, it is a worm, said mama. Then what happens? Whoosh blows the wind and squiggly 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 the worm slides away. <gasps> oh, it's my favorite. There on the stem, Mouse found something sweet and petally. What can it be? It's a flower. It looks like a daisy. Then what happens? Whoosh blew the wind and oh, poor little mouse tumbles away. Then all around Mouse, she felt something soft and cuddly and oh so cozy. What can it be? Who is behind her? It's Mama! With your kisses and hugs. XOXO. Spring is here, little mouse, and I love you. Isn't that sweet? I love spring. All right, so for the last song, you need a scarf, a handkerchief, a kitchen towel. I don't really care. Just find something you can lay around. Okay? Pause the video. Go find it. Welcome back with your item. They're going to be kites, by the way. You didn't get that reference yet. Okay, ready? Here's my kite. The handkerchief I found in my house. Okay, ready? I'm going to go up high first. Ready? My kite is up so high, my kite is up so high. Oh, just watch it fly, my kite is up so high. My kite is falling down, my kite is falling down. Oh no, it's down so low. My kite is falling down. Okay, now the wind's gonna catch our kites, ready? We're gonna play them in the wind, ready? The wind has caught my kite, the wind has caught my kite. Oh, what fun, I'm on the run. The wind has caught my kite. Okay, one more time up high, ready? My kite is up so high, my kite is up so high. Oh my, just watch it fly. My kite is up so what? High! Whew, good job, guys. All right, before you leave, I'm gonna explain your lovely craft that I made myself. All right, so it's a spring wreath because it's spring. So you can hang this on a door or in your house, I don't really care. It's got butterflies and flowers. So there's instructions in the kit how to make it. And
and um, you'll also get a book if you want about spring. Feel free to read it, parents, guardians, whatever you want. Thank you guys for coming to spring story time. Next week we'll be celebrating Easter! Yay bunnies! Alright, see you guys later. Bye-bye!